There's the truck! Liam, start recording! Let's go! Make way! I got him! And he smells terrible! Good job, Rust! He caught trash. And the real culprit got away. That's all right. We still have some good footage. Let's go show for some more mirrors. Now this is a new story! But who's the culprit? Um, we don't know yet, but we're really close. Well, now I gotta see how this turns out. I'll give you the rest of the week to crack it. Yes, you can count on the Action News Team. <laughs> Just get out. There's the driver, right on time. Ah! Zach, you have been there the whole time? We thought you overslept. It's called camouflage, Rusty. Hey, y'all, where the heck's the popcorn culprit? Guess he's a no-show. At least we can still talk to the driver. Action News Team, do you have anything to say about the popcorn situation? We saw you meet with someone yesterday. Who have you been selling all the school's popcorn to? What are you talking about? Today's my first day. The last guy got transferred to Indianapolis. <gasps> popcorn perp must have arranged it. He must be on to us. Wait, but why did you run from us? You see a weird looking bush coming at you. Your instincts tell you to run. Well, what do we do now? We need to find a way to lure the culprit out of hiding. I've got a plan. Zach, we're gonna need your tracker and Clyde Spice Kit. If the culprit likes popcorn, there's no way he'll be able to resist Clyde's famous rosemary parm corn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we'll take turns watching the tracker. Settle in. This could be a while. <gasps> Popcorn on the move. It's showtime. <gasps> Come on, let's go. You're heading to the wharf. He's making a break for Canada. Oh, no, he's not. Liam, you're going to want to film this. Time to shine. Don't worry, Rust. I got it. Oh, look, y'all. A popcorn kernel. Hey, and there's a whole trail of them. Oh, good grits. And I thought Meemaw was a messy eater. The door's locked. Step aside. Liam, you're gonna want to film this. Oh! Don't worry, Rust. I got it. Bingo. Okay, this is it. Let's do this. Action News Team, we're coming in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meryl, you're the one who's been taking all the school's popcorn? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just wanted a quiet place to watch my soaps. And nothing soundproofs like popcorn. Oh, please don't air this, kids. I, I could lose my job. We would never do that, Meryl. Even if it means we don't have a story. Which means we don't have a show. Aw, y'all are the sweetest. Wait, I know of another big story that'll save your show. For years, it's been a legend, but no one's been able to find it. Until now! Thanks to an anonymous tip, the Action News team has uncovered the school's secret game room. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's our report for today. We've got some games to play. Oh, what's that? Oh. Bravo! I've been looking for this room for years. Great work, team. You can keep your show. <laughs> now, Meryl, you up for a round of air hockey? You bet your biscuits. <laughs> oh, and Zach, I owe you a new tracker. It's all good. <laughs> Guys, I just got a new lead on another story. Rumor has it, there's a hot tub in the teacher's lounge. The Action News Team is on the case. Oh, wait. 
He sure is easy on the eyes. Oh, yeah. And I hear she speaks three languages. Have you guys heard her laugh? It's so contagious. I like the way her hair smells. <coughs> what? Too far? Here she comes. Be cool. Be cool. Hey, guys. Anybody want to trade for my carrots? <coughs> Uh, right. So, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah. Wonder what that was all about. I don't know, but I'm glad we played it so cool. Trade you my pudding for a meatball. Thanks. <laughs> what? You said she likes red sauce. Low blow, man. This is dry clean only. In case anyone's interested, I'm out of the snake formation. Well, I actually left it earlier than you. I just didn't tell you. The snake formation is officially dead. Fine by me. Me too. <laughs> That's for the meatball. Ow! That's for the mustard. <laughs> That's for blonde and me. Ah! That! this happen? I thought you boys had a snake formation. Those days are over. Well, that's a shame. I always thought it was so nice the way you all looked out for each other. She's right. What are we doing? Are we really gonna throw away our friendship over a girl? Well, that ain't what I want. Me neither. You guys are my support circle. I honestly don't think I can make new friends at this point. I can't believe we ever let things get this far. And the crazy thing is, none of this is even our fault. It's Stella's for pitting us against each other. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I say we go give her the one for it right now. Snake formation fellers. Stella, we need to talk to you. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Oh, I think you know. We're through with your mind games. Uh, thanks, Lincoln. My what? Don't act all innocent. You nearly broke up our friendship. Asking us all out on dates, then making us compete to see who would blow you out of the water? Blow me out of the water? What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. We're done. You couldn't choose one of us for a boyfriend, so now you don't get any of us. <laughs> what? I'm sorry for laughing. It's just... You guys are so off base. I don't want a boyfriend. I just wanted to be friends with all of you. Well, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Uh, you may recall that every time I walked up to you guys as a group, you acted like total weirdos. That's why I was trying to get to know you one-on-one, -on -one, or what you called dates. Ah. Uh, you know, maybe this was a bad idea. It seems like you guys just can't handle being friends with a girl. I'm gonna go hang out with my lab partner, Mrs. Johnson. Oh man, we really messed up. It's too bad, cause Stella's really fun. I was hoping she'd teach me how to master the claw machine. Yeah, and I was hoping she'd help me pick out a wig for my Meemaw. And she would have made a great addition to our snake formation. She could have been the rattle. Well, maybe if we go tell her how sorry we are, she'll give us another chance. Hey Stella, we just want to apologize for how we acted. Yeah, you were right. Just cause you're a gal and we're fellers don't mean you had to be fixing for a romance. What we don't know about women could fill a library. We just hope you can forgive us because we all really liked hanging out with you as a friend. Um, okay, well, that's cool. I guess we'll just uh, see you around. Hang on. Lincoln, what's in that thermos? My dad's homemade tomato soup. I'll trade you my fruit salad for it. Deal. Hey, uh, how about swapping them their rice cakes for some hush puppies? Definitely. Any chance you trade your juice box for a tuna kit? Sorry, dude. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, up top. First middle school high five, check. 
Who's ready to rock day one? <laughs> I know I am. <gasps> Grew this sweet new stash over the summer. So I'm golden. Okay, A, I'd hardly call that a stash. And B, why can't you just admit you're nervous like the rest of us? Guys, there's nothing to be nervous about, especially since we'll all be together in Mrs. Salter's class, which Lynn said rules. But Lincoln, we're gonna get eaten alive! We're not big fish anymore! Everybody calm down, I'm telling you. <clears throat> as long as we're together, we'll be fine. This is it, middle school. And we'll make this day look easy. But we're not lit. We're not cool. And my stomach's really queasy. I don't think I can go through with it. Just take a deep breath and get a grip. Our strategy is tight. Our game is strong. Feeling impending doom. Getting shoved inside a locker. I can't find my classroom. And this machine just ate my dollar. Pizza day already. Look at this delicious mystery spaghetti. We can rule these hallways side by side. Trust me, we'll be fine. We got this. We got this. Trust me, we'll be fine. We got this. We got this. Trust me, we'll be fine. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Mrs. Salter. Okay, so here's the lowdown. Juice bar in the back, help yourself. Also, there are cards on the desk with your names on them. Rip hardcore themed. I love the show. And he is a personal friend of mine. Whoa. Whoa. See, I told you guys there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, Mrs. Salter, I can't find my desk. My name's Lincoln Loud. Oh, okay. Here you are. Looks like you're in Mr. Bohofner's class. No, that can't be right. I know I requested this class. For the love of sponge cake, say you turned in the form. Say it. I did. See, there's a check mark. That's not a check. That's a flippy stain. Ugh. Mrs. Salter, can't he stay? I mean, he's already here. Please. Yeah, we have to stick together. Yeah, we just sang a dang song about it. Oh, I am so sorry, guys, but we're full. Lincoln's gonna have to report to Mr. Bohofner's class. Where's that? The trailer? Here's the juice for the road. It's quite a hike. Oh. Will Lincoln Loud please report to the principal's office? <laughs> oh, what now? Lincoln? I actually have some good news. You've proven yourself to be a pretty determined kid. So I pulled some strings and I found a way to get you what you want. Oh, thank you, thank you! My friends are going to be so happy! You'll be challenged in a cooler classroom, etc., etc. You've just earned free poppers for life, Principal Ramirez. Because you'll be attending a new school! It's just across the river. Wait, what? A new school? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I was able to enroll you since I know the principal there. He owes me a favor. But, but... I cashed it in, so this better be worth it, Loud. And by the way, it's in Canada! Canada? <laughs> <laughs> I know we should have sprung for the moose with a bigger caboose. Are we there yet? Uh, uh, let me check the GPS. I think it's frozen. Just give it a good whack. Now we don't have a map. Um, guys, that might be the least of our problems. Uh, 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 Yeti! Stand back, everyone! I'm highly trained in cryptic combat. Uh, uh, uh. Lincoln! You came for us! Yeah, I was worried. You guys should have been here hours ago. What happened? Don't ask. Liam, you got any more of that butter? I'm freezing my stash off. No! Oh! As you can see, we're falling apart without you, buddy. Ditto. Time to put Operation Stop the Hockey Game and get kicked out of school so that I can finally end this frozen nightmare and also think of a shorter name for this operation. <gasps> Phew, into action. Hair dryers? We can't play hockey without ice. 
My flannels, what's going on here, eh? Oh no, Principal Marshall, we're so busted! Do you realize what you've done? Sorry, Principal Marshall, I guess I'm a born troublemaker. I just can't help myself. Anyway, I'm sure this means I'm kicked out, so I'll just go grab my belongings. No, you actually saved me! Seriously? I was actually coming down here to melt the ice myself, but you could have just turned on the heater. But, uh, hair dryers work too. But between us, I've got no interest in playing this hockey game. The coach of our rival school is my big brother, Gordy. And every year, win, lose, or draw, he gives me an enormous post-game wedgie. But, Principal Marshall... Now don't worry, your little toques. I'll take full responsibility for this kerfuffle. Now you should all head her. That's Canadian for skedaddle. I'll tell everyone the game's off. You need an assist there, fella. Uh... <gasps> what are you guys doing here? Well, we thought about what you said, and you're right. We'll make this work. Starting with our very first international breakfast swap. Oh, thanks, guys. You're the best. I got butter. What do you all got? Firing up the maple syrup hose! Actually, no syrup for me today, please. I'm a little syruped out. Oh! Oh! Why is everyone staring at us? Is my fly down? Lincoln Loud, in accordance with the Royal Canadian Maple Syrup Code, you are hereby booted from Canada. Sorry about that. <gasps> Three years? That's all of middle school! Guys, I'm coming home! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Check it out, Zach! Girl Jordan's party has a tap tap station! Oh, man. Ah! I'm okay. Landed in manure. 97, 98, 99. Too bad you're not here, Lincoln. I plan on breaking your cannonball splash record tonight. Look at that diving board. It's going to make a tsunami. Another video from the party? No, just my dad's checking to make sure I reapplied my bug spray. But that's a video from the party. So this is happening. You gotta be kidding me! A water slide? I can't believe we're missing this. Maybe Liam would be okay with us going over there just for a little bit. Found you guys! <laughs> Boy, this is a hoot, ain't it? Best night of my life. Who needs them pool parties when you got all you can ask for right here on the farm, huh? <laughs> Rattlesnake Roundup's next. Oh, man, he's not going to go for it. True, but what if he never knows? We can wait till he falls asleep and then swing by and check the party out for a bit. Yeah, as long as we're back before he wakes up, everything's cool. I don't know, guys. Mine gives me stomach aches, and I didn't bring any medicine for that. We're not really lying, Clyde. We're just sparing Liam's feelings. Good point, Rusty. And if we happen to protect my cannonball record while we're there, so be it. This is even better than the party Andrew threw when he got his braces off. I'm hitting the food table. I can't get my flirt on in an empty stomach. I gotta check out the tat station. I have a water slide to ride. And I have a cannonball record to defend. Okay, guys, let's meet here in an hour to go back to Liam's. Set your alarms. Really, Rusty? The ladies dig it. Wait a minute. Hot sauce? I thought that was ketchup. <gasps> My allergies. Yikes, ladies, I can't be seen like this. Oh, yeah. Time to lay down some intergalactic grooves. Eh, 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 eh. What the? Warning, may cause severe hair loss in redheads. What? Ah! I thought I looked bad. <laughs> hey, look who just showed up for the cannonball contest. You were on, Molly. Lincoln, they're gonna see us 
in our underwear. Ah, I forgot. Let's get out of here. Uh, the pool house, quick. Ah! Ah! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah! Think timers. What's wrong with his face? Don't mind us. Just on our way out. Great party. That's our only way out. Remember, guys, we're doing this together. Look at his undies. Look at them go. My undies. I just need to grab my. <laughs> Never mind. Boy, that goat milk sure knocks me right out. Oh, that's yeah. like oh. a log. Really? Was that before or after y'all went to Girl Jordan's party? What do you mean? Whose party? We don't know a Girl Jordan. Oh, come on, guys. Rusty looks like he kissed a beehive. Zach looks like he's been run over by a lawnmower, and you two are in nothing but your skivvies. I weren't born yesterday. You're right, Liam. We did go. And we're really sorry. Girl Jordan's party just looked so fun. They had subs and a water slide and... Yeah, I know, I know. People were texting me from the party, too. I just thought we were having a good time here, so I didn't say nothing. We were having a good time. We never should have left. Sorry, man. We stink. And if it makes you feel any better, we definitely got what was coming to us at Girl Jordan's. Well, I know. I got that text, too. We don't need to relive it. So, we still friends? I reckon. You fellers can't shake me that easily. Now, come on. This party ain't over yet. Can't leave without a big old farm breakfast. Yes! Yeah. And congrats to our own Liam Honeycutt, whose cow Daisy gave birth to a baby boy. The proud mom had this to say, Moo! And now to Clyde McBride with Clyde's Culture Corner. Thanks, Lincoln. Girl Jordan is about to break the school record for the most books checked out. A whopping 47. And I'm being told none of them have pictures. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I'm getting a breaking bulletin. A suspect is in the principal's office in connection with the stink bomb thrown at last night's dance. We now go to Stella Zhao. That's right, Lincoln. The student is inside at this very moment. Viewers, I'm going to try and get a statement from the suspect. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> Rusty? Uh, uh. I'm innocent, I swear. Did Principal Ramirez say why she thinks it was you? She wouldn't tell me who, but there were witnesses who claimed to see me throw the stink bomb. And now I'm suspended for a whole week. Oh, I hate having to escort one of my baby birds off property. <laughs> Nice job, Cloud. Dance ruiner! This is a travesty of justice. We have to clear Rusty's name. This calls for an Action News Team special investigation. I found the suit rental sheet. Huh. Three guys from school rented white suits for the dance. Chad, Dirk, and Jordan. Oh, I couldn't have thrown the stink bomb. Oh, I have a super sensitive nose. Stinky stuff makes me puke. Sounds suspicious to me. Hmm, I have an idea. Boy, my Peggy sure do itch. I tell you, plowing the onion field with my feet, she's got them all right. Oh, gracious me. What will I do with all this tuna fish I left in the sun? <laughs> I guess Chad wasn't lying about his sensitive nose. One suspect down, two to go. I was in the gym bathroom when the stink bomb went off. Mr. Bullhoffner was showing us how to wrestle a bobcat. It shredded my suit. Shh, anything could have done that. Attention, students. Don't forget today's pep rally. Oh, and there's a bobcat on the loose. Don't just stand there, Bullhoffner. Go get it. <laughs> Guys, you know what this means? Yeah. He's definitely not getting his deposit back. No, it means two suspects are cleared. We know who the culprit is. Ah, confess.
Yes, boy, Jordan, you snake. You rented a white suit so you can throw the stink bomb at the dance and pin it all on Rusty. Um, what are you talking about? I didn't rent a suit for the dance. Andrew and I went in cat onesies. Aww. Rusty said I must have written it down wrong. Maybe it was another J name. James, Jason, Jackson? Or maybe it wasn't even a J name, which means it could be anybody. I hate to say it, but we failed. I'm really sorry we couldn't clear your name, Rusty. Thanks for trying, guys. I'll just stay in disguise until the end of middle school. Hopefully I'll get used to these heels. Today's top news story. Turns out Liam's baby boy calf is actually a girl. When pressed about the error, Liam's meatball <gasps> said, My bad, y'all. It's hard to tell. You guys, I know who framed Rusty. Principal Ramirez, meet us at the lockers immediately. News team, follow me. This better be good. We had just cornered Bohofner's bobcat. Can you keep it down? I'm giving a pop quiz. Hey, what's going on? I know who the actual stink bomb culprit is. Girl, Jordan. <gasps> Of course! There are two Jordans! Uh, that's absurd! I didn't do it! Oh no! Then open your locker! Uh, uh, fine. <gasps> I am as shocked as you are! Who put this in my locker? That's what you should be investigating right now! <sighs> okay. It was me. I framed Rusty. <gasps> Oh. I'm really sorry. I went way too far. Well, I'm sorry about the cake. You can go ahead and suspend me, Principal Ramirez. Do you have to suspend Girl Jordan? Can't we just call it even? Okay. I won't suspend her if you do me one favor and keep teaching. Ask Emma to the dance. Ask Emma to the dance. Huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to ask Emma to the dance, huh? Yeah! You can read my mind? Nah, it's just kind of obvious. So what's the holdup? I'm worried she might say no. I'd be heartbroken and humiliated. I can't ask without being 100% sure she likes me. Relax. Let me go find out if she digs you. Uh, no offense, but you'd be super obvious about it. There's got to be a discreet way to find out if she likes me, right? For sure. And we can totally help. It's go time. What's the plan, Rust Man? Uh, uh, it smells like piney beef jerky. Sweet, right? My older cousin told me if a girl comments on your cologne, it means she likes you. Well, your cousin did have a girlfriend at summer camp, so. Whoa! Ah! 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 Oh, Clyde! I didn't know you wore cologne. Yeah, um, it's like a rustic cedar with beefy undertones. Cool. Boom! She totally likes you, man. She did notice the cologne, but maybe she's just a super smeller like my cats with tuna. Sorry, but I just need more evidence. It's as easy as rhubarb pie. You just gotta save that seat next to you. If Emma takes it, she's sweet on you like honey on a biscuit. Wait, how do you know this stuff? Oh, Cause that's how Clucky and Yoko Ono got together. Clucky was smitten with Yoko from the moment he laid eyes on her. So we made a special spot next to him in the coop. And she took it. Well, if it worked for Clucky. <gasps> she's coming! Quick, quick, play it cool. Hey, Clyde, is that seat free? Yes! Yes, it is! All yours! <laughs> oh, thanks, Clyde. Cluck, cluck! Looks like Emma's smitten, too. Wait, that was the only seat left. I need more proof. Your granny taught you how to read tea leaves? Yep. She's the master. She saw an oak tree in her oolong tea and predicted we'd move to Royal Woods. Cup, please. Well, what do you see? I see a meatball sub. That's not a sub. It's Clyde. At the Valentine's dance. It kind of looks like you're wearing a chef's outfit. Hmm. That's odd. But I do own one. 
What else? You're happy, and you're dancing with someone. A <gasps> uh, girl with brown hair. It's Emma! Yay! <laughs> now are you ready to ask her? Heck yeah! And I came up with a plan based on one of my favorite movies, Il Ballo Finale. But I'll need your help to pull it off. Do we get to dress up like zombies? Not quite. <gasps> Will you be my date to the Valentine's dance? I'm really sorry, Clyde, but I just want to be friends. Ooh, I love the stash. It's like a little caterpillar dot on your face. Can you fix it? Hmm. It's not going to be easy, but I think I can do it. No! Oh. Ooh, it is gorgeous! Do you want me to cut you a little slice for the road? No, thank you. I should get going. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, Cheryl, what are you doing? Clyde? Hmm? Clyde? Who is it, Clyde? My name is Jok. I am the Becca of the cake. <laughs> You're funny. Hey, um, I wanted to tell you something. Uh, go ahead. You're probably just gonna tease me about my big rejection, right? Tease you? No way! I wanted to tell you that your dance proposal was really sweet. It must have taken so much courage to put yourself out there like that. Oh, thanks! Clyde, you cross everybody off their activity list, and I'll sign them up for our hike. Job well done, buddy. Huh? Clyde? Your knuckles are very hairy. Um, Lincoln? That's not me. Ah! Wait, Lynn's lacrosse stick. Y'all, get those bad boys out of here. What are y'all little hoot owls doing out of your bunks? Just, uh, looking for my lacrosse stick. Oh, it's, uh, it's over there. And now we can sleep in peace. Mm-hmm. All set, Clyde? Packed and ready. Oh, ah! Oh, hey guys, I didn't know you signed up for this hike. I didn't sign up for this hike, and yet I'm here. Same. Me really? too. Well, look on the bright side. Now we can all spend the afternoon together. Should we get going? Woohoo! Let's do this! Uh, uh, oh, little help. <sighs> I'm sweatier than a sow in labor. Yeah, my fair skin isn't meant for this brutal sun. I hate hiking. Oh, not again! At least we're together, right? Don't worry, guys. There should be a path this way that will take us back to the bunks. Or is it that way? You sure you know where we're going? Yeah, everything around here looks exactly the same. Hmm, now that you mention it, I'm not entirely sure where we are. Okay, let's draw straws in case we have to eat someone. No one is eating anyone. We just have to work together to find a way back to camp. The good news is <gasps> we'll always remember this exact moment that bonded us forever. Should we take a picture? Got it. Not the right time. Liam, I need you in charge of hydration. Just call me the juice daddy. Stella, I need you to look for familiar landmarks. Anything that will lead us back to camp. Clyde, I need you to... Uh, 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 we'll come back to you. Zach, you're in charge of collecting food. Wait, you're telling me Clyde doesn't have anything to eat in that ginormous backpack? Just... Uh, bug spray? Uh, sunscreen? Uh, uh, lip balm. Huh, what flavor lip balm? Rusty, I need you to find a way to send out an SOS signal. Initiating Hertana protocol. Isn't this exciting, Clyde? We're gonna remember this forever. Look, bud, keep this between the two of us. But we're not actually lost. We're not? No, I just thought working together would bring us back together. Don't worry, I have the map. Don't worry, I'll just go grab it. Uh, 
Okay, now you can worry. We're actually lost. What do you mean, actually? So I may have pretended that we were lost, because I may have been trying to bring us closer together. But now we may actually be lost. What? I promise this wasn't part of the plan. Tell him, Clyde. Clyde? You were in on this? I didn't know he was going to get us lost. I just helped him cross your names off the activity list. You crossed their names off the activity list? Very uncool, Lincoln. I can explain. You've done enough. I'm getting out of here. Anyone who wants to go back to the bunks, follow me. My luscious locks say this way. Well, Mima always says, if you're lost in the hot sauce, the North Star's your boss. Uh, it's daytime, dude. Mima never lies. Guys, wait! I'm going this way. The pollen count seems lower. We should stick together! Stella, come back! Rusty! Uh... <laughs> huh? The map! Ah! <sighs> Dang it. Help! Help! Lincoln! Hopefully someone sees my distress signal. Uh! <gasps> I'd recognize this underwear anywhere! Clyde! Guys! He's over here! Tight, buddy. We'll get you out. Initiate chain formation. I got him. Bring me up. Uh, uh, you okay there, fella? Better now that you guys are here. I'm sorry for scheming behind your backs. Lynn told me that when you go to middle school, you lose all your friends. And I was afraid that was happening to us. <laughs> No way! But everyone was doing their own thing this weekend. We were just trying new stuff. But that doesn't mean we won't be friends. Sure thing. We'll always be tied as a gaggle of geese. Thanks, guys. Now bring it in. I'm here, I'm here! <sighs> Sorry I'm late, guys. Clyde, are you okay? Ugh. You're looking pretty sweaty. Yeah, and where are the Monday morning muffins you always bake? Didn't bake any. Last night, something awful happened. Oh. I was having tea and watching Operation Dessert Storm. Come on, Zamir. Your plan is going to clinch it. This week's winner is an all-around good guy who cleans beaches and fosters cats. Give it up for everyone's favorite whisking king, Zamir! Yes, yes, yes! Hold the heavy cream. I've just been told one contestant has been disqualified for using a non-regulation whisk. Zamir, please pack your muffin tins and go. You're mad because your favorite contestant cheated. Zamir didn't cheat. He would never cheat. Maybe you can root for a different contestant. What about Manit? Manit's green puffs are dry! Guys, I think we just won. Oh. You just saved our butts. Wow, guess that was me working through my dessert storm anger. I think I'll relax with a cup of herbal tea in the locker room. Wow! He destroyed that team! Yeah, if Clyde keeps his rage up, surviving dodgeball week will be a cinch! Yeah, I hate to put a frost on your harvest, but uh, Clyde's not going to stay mad over this all week. In fact, it seems like he's already over it. I think I know how to make Clyde angry again. Alright, teams! Line up! This better work, dog. I can't get any more bruises. You know black and blue aren't my colors. Trust me. Hey, Clyde, I don't want to whisk getting a penalty, but does this ball look non-regulation to you? Non-regulation? Please pack your muffin tins and go, go. Do your worst, losers. <laughs> so glad I got that out of my system. Well, herbal tea time. They wouldn't disqualify me for wearing this, would they? And that's game! Here you go, Clyde. I made some pre-game quiche. I found the recipe on Zamir's blog. Can you get this itch for me? I can't reach. Okay, the game is starting in 15 minutes, so we gotta push Clyde's biggest button. 
He hates seeing trash spilled everywhere because, as he says, littering spits in the eye of Mother Earth. What a glorious mess. Great job, guys. Oh, look, here he comes. Hey, guys, why did you want to be here? <gasps> what kind of monster would do this? We were just asking that, too. This makes me so mad. Good. I mean, uh, totally understandable reaction, bro. We can worry about this later, Clyde. Right now, it's game time. Come on. Clyde, the gym is this way. Where are you going? Principal Ramirez's office. This happened on her watch, and I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. She's allowing her students to spit in Mother Earth's eye. <laughs> Guys, if Clyde goes off on Principal Ramirez, she might suspend him. We have to tell him the truth. Clyde, wait. Lincoln has something to tell you. Don't yell at Principal Ramirez. We littered the blacktop. What? Why would you do that? Dude, survival. When you're angry, you're great at dodgeball. And that keeps us from getting annihilated. We just wanted to keep you mad long enough to survive this game with the eighth graders. We're really sorry. <laughs> I don't feel a beat down. Throw out your trash! <laughs> uh, uh. No! <laughs> That's game! <laughs> huh? Looks like you chuckleheads are riding with me. Let me grab the keys and a crowbar. Plenty of bodies? A crowbar? Where could it be Skull Hoffner Chow? Guys, relax. The Hoff's my homeroom teacher. I know if he was a convict, or a cannibal, or a mobster. Trust me, we've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Mr. Ball, ah! Hoffner, you sure you know Ow! where you're going? Of course. I come out here whenever I need to dispose of my composting pile. Ooh. Well, I think we should pull over. Oh, good thinking, Clyde. You fake sick. Skullhoffner stops. We run. Wow, he's really selling it. We can't escape with Skullhoffner's eagle eye on us. Guys, my cousin Derek's a cop now. He says it always plays out like this. Helpless victim plus deserted road equals... <gasps> Guys, get a grip! First of all, Derek's not a cop. He's a part-time security guard at the outlets. Still got a badge. And yes, there's been weirdness, like Bullhovner booking the wrong bus and the creepy shortcut and the whole hunting small prey thing. But none of that means anything. Not all of us have your endless optimism, Lincoln. <laughs> ah! I got a text from Mrs. Salter. The bus is stuck in three feet of flippy syrup. The field trip's canceled. I'll take you kids back to school. <sighs> See? Didn't I say it would be fine? I'm yeah. sorry, Lincoln. Of all the times not to have a spare. Out here where no one can find us, just as it's about to get dark. Okay, we're clear on the new plan? Hey there, Mr. B. Great fire. You know, I've got a new hobby these days. Cellars. Boy, do I love a good old-fashioned cellar. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, well, not a lot going on in Royal Woods. So, any chance I can see the cabin cellar? Knock yourself out. How about a personal tour? <laughs> <laughs> Get over loud. <laughs> <laughs>
thinking locking me in the cellar and running out into the woods? You could have been hurt! Well, it's just, we thought, we thought you were going to turn us into people jerky. <sighs> I should have known. This was all about those dumb lies people say about me. Come on, let's get you inside. As soon as the storm settles, I'll take you kids home. I think there's a spare tire for the van in the shed. I'll wait out there so you don't have to worry about Skull Hoffner. <sighs> Funny, I'm tough enough to wrestle a bear, but those cruel rumors hurt my feelings. I feel awful about what we did. Me too. Mr. B is actually really cool. I bet if everybody at school knew what he was really like, those rumors would go away. Yeah, Doc. Wish there was a way we could set the record straight. <gasps> Rusty, you're giving me an idea. Fine. I'll cha-cha with him. Not that. <laughs> See, Mr. B isn't a convict, or a mobster, or a cannibal. If you get to know him, you'll find out that he's a great guy, who's brave and loyal. Oh, speaking of which, here's the bear wrestler himself, Mr. Cool Hoffner. Uh, everybody get to class, or it's detention! Hey! Thank you. <laughs> cool Hoffner. <laughs> um, what's going on with you two? We're trying to win best buds in the MSB awards, so we're stepping up our friendship game. But Clyde and I are going for that. Can't you go for something else? <laughs> oh, like grossest eaters? Sorry, but we got a legacy to live up to. Our dads won best buds back when they went to school here. Well, fine. If you two are stepping up your friendship game, then Clyde and I will too. Come on, fellers. We're all best buds. Uh, May the true best buds win. Best in the trilogy. Good morning, everyone. Check out Clean and McCloud, McCloud Best Buds and Proud. Hmm? <gasps> Commencing Zesty Spurtle's Best Buds handshake in three, two, one. <laughs> MSB Awards? I'm voting for totally you thought they were the best. <laughs> Guys, look! Clink and McCloud has a best friend handshake, too! <laughs> uh. Wow! You sure captured my rugged good looks, best bud. Hey, I paint it like I see it! <gasps> Guys, check out what Lincoln and Clyde made! <gasps> <gasps> We go live now to the cafeteria, where cleanup has begun following today's Sloppy Joe explosion. A slideshow of all of our best friend moments in the history of Clink and McCloud? How'd that get in there? Huh? Rookie move. You always go video over slideshow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, guys. Check it out. Whoa! Zusty's Burtles, Best Buds, and Boiled Woods! <gasps> Everyone, look up at the sky! Clink and McCloud! Best Buds in the world! Looks like I'm changing I my vote. I'm so voting for Clink and McCloud. Oh. Rookie Moo, you always go sky riding over billboards. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Can we have your attention, please? I hope you haven't had dessert yet, because my best friend Clyde and I have a special treat for you. <gasps> He's the apple in my pie. The ketchup on my fry. When it comes to best friends, yes, I rely on this guy. Cheddar and no one can make it better than yours. Lincoln, I've been thinking that we might be running out of food metaphors. Only my best friend's the best. Zach, I wouldn't put that to a test. Cause we're better than the rest. Best friends with this guy. On your marks. 
Get set! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I like more than cooking with my best friend. There's nothing I like more than cooking with my best friend. You guys sound ridiculous. You're just mad because you know we're gonna win this. Yeah, you guys have been faking it this whole time. You're not even real best friends. <gasps> <gasps> so, you wanna play dirty? Well, I hope you like your egg scramble. <gasps> Feller, <laughs> stop! Ugh, this has gone too far! Look what you've come to! Y'all been acting like real jerks to each other, and me and Stella can't take it no more! And we don't want to be friends with people who act like that, so we're out. Come on, Liam. <sighs> oh. Guys, wait! You're right! This isn't how friends should treat each other. We're sorry for how we acted. We're sorry, too. Can you forgive Zack? I mean, can you forgive both of us? Of course. Can you guys forgive us, too? <laughs> yeah, bring it in, y'all. <laughs> One spaghetti pizza for my favorite customers. I only make this for my most regular regulars. Speaking of, Stella, I found your hoodie, washed it, and then dried it in the pizza oven. Ooh, pizza pressed. Hey, there's a pepperoni in my sleeve. Mm. Liam, we got your special seat cushion right here. <clears throat> oh, nothing better on your behind than a bale of hay. And Rust Man, heard the good news about your report card. As promised, here's a game token for every A. Yes, thank you, wood shop. And thank you, Gus, for making us feel like family. You're welcome, kids. Enjoy that pizza. Oh, Lincoln, isn't that your sister? Hey, Lincoln. It's like totes packed in here. Mind if we share your booth? Well, it's already <laughs> full. <gasps> Is that spaghetti pizza? Yum. I'm starving. Oh, can I have a slice? Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, don't you guys usually hang out at the mall? Usually. But Dim Yum is closed. Yeah, but the ski ball is open. Come on, let's play some games. Yay! Oh, yeah. <gasps> they ate all of our pizza. Now they're playing all of our games? Y'all are taking over this place like Skeeters on a sugar sucker. Guys, it's okay. It's only for an afternoon. We can still have fun. Ah. <sighs> If I get next, I don't get A's very often. Sorry, dude. Miguel's gonna be here for a while. He's on a roll. Yeah. Only 10,000 more tickets, and he has enough to win the Rip Hardcore Waffle Iron! Waffles! I've been saving up my tickets for years trying to win that. Oh. Sorry, Clyde. Maybe this will make you feel better. Excuse me, Gus. Clyde here needs a garlic not pick me up. Ah, uh, sorry, Lincoln. I just served up my last order. Wow. <laughs> oh, and gosh, this was totes fun. This place is great. Who knew? We did. Anyways, thanks for coming. Have fun at Dim Yum tomorrow. Ooh, sorry, we weren't clear before. We meant Dim Yum is closed forever. <gasps> <coughs> See you guys tomorrow. And you better believe your boy's getting his hands on the rest of that rip hardcore kitchenware line. We cannot sit by while our hangout is taken over by garlic not loving teenagers. We need to reclaim Gus's, our beloved home away from home. Because they may take our waffle irons, but they will not take our freedom! Could you get your foot off my sandwich? Oops. Sorry. Uh, Lincoln, super inspirational speech and all, but how do we get rid of Lenny and her friends? Do you think I would have stomped on Rusty's lunch if I didn't have a plan? to do it. Now all the games look off limits. <gasps> oh, M gosh, an arcade just for VIPs. Girl, I only do VIP. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <goodness, I'm just laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Time for plan B. Clyde, you're up. They're gonna know it's me. That's what the disguise is for. Now I'm nervous and I can't see. Go get him, buddy. <laughs> 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 
I really wish there was. Do you have any special pizzas today? Oh, uh, no. Actually, we don't have any pizza at all. Or pasta. Or food. Oh, I even call it uh, we should go, guys. Hey, gang. The Royal Woods Men's Choir ordered this Gus Buster, but they got called away on a singing emergency. You want? Wow. Oh. Time for Plan C, Gus's famous ice bar. Which ice are we going with? Cubed, shaved, flaked, still, sparkling, diet? Nope. Pebbled. Lenny hates it. She says it's like chewing baby rocks. Liam, think you can get these into her cup from over here? You're darn tootin' I can. Ma'am, what's wrong? It's that awful ice. I can still feel it in my mouth, and it's stressing me out. Then Gus's shell provide a way to relax. Get comfortable. You're going to be here for a while. Uh... Ah, that's it! Lenny, we're done with you hanging out here. Yeah, now get it. Don't make us huck more ice at y'all. The baby rocks was you? Not cool, Lincoln. Yeah, if you're gonna pull dirty tricks, there's no way we're leaving. There's only one way to settle this. We have a competition to see who gets to call Gus's their hangout. Losers are banned forever. Let's do it. Dodgeball already over? Lincoln, good news. For the talent show, we're gonna sing and shake our groove things. <laughs> but like, in a cool way. Actually, guys, I had a solo act in mind. It's time Royal Woods Middle School was introduced to Lincoln the Magnificent. Eh? Ooh. A fedora. Ain't nothing cool about that. Shield formation. Cover Grab that hat too. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Saving your life, dude. You can't be doing magic in front of the whole school. Why not? What's wrong with magic? Sorry, Link, but top hats and card tricks? <laughs> Isn't that a little young? Immature, really. So fifth grade. We're just trying to look out for you. This is your middle school reputation on the line. Um, what could be better for my reputation than this? <laughs> cool, right? Ah, not the face. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. That's my only dove. Guys, as Lincoln's friends, we can't let him do this magic thing. He's like a piglet during breach birth. We just need to turn him around. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. It sounds like scheming. You know scheming hurts my stomach. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Lincoln the Magnificent, will make this dove disappear. Hmm? Ta-da! <laughs> eh, I'll live with the discomfort. <laughs> hmm? yoo -hoo. Any requests? I'll yodel any song you like. Uh, no, I'm good. Cool horn. Oh, thank you. The name's Yodel Boy. Pleased to meet you. Lincoln Loud. Yodel Boy? That's unique. Well, that wasn't always my name. <gasps> I had a normal name. Johan, Johanna, na, 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 na. That was before the middle school talent show. My friends tried to warn me. They said yodeling wasn't cool, and there's a reason it's only done alone on mountaintops. <gasps> yodeling, yodeling, yodeling. One day, you're just another sixth grader, and the next, you're... <laughs> yodel boy, yodel boy, yodel boy, yodel boy, yodel boy, yodel boy, boy. That one talent show ruined my entire reputation. It haunted me all through middle school. Hmm, reputation. <gasps> Boy, am I glad I ran into you. You just saved my butt. Thanks, Yodel Boy. Oh, I almost forgot. I bedazzled us some headbands. Oh, Clyde, not that locker. Ah! Oh. <laughs> hey, that looks like Yodel Boy's horn and lederhosen. No, uh, those are my lederhosen. They uh, hold my pants up. You've never worn them before. What's going on around here? Oh, I can't take it anymore. Lincoln, we created a fictional Swiss goat herder with the ear for music and a tragic backstory to stop you from doing magic and ruining your reputation. What? Why? We did it because we're your friends. Yeah, man. We couldn't just let you go out there and embarrass yourself in front of everyone. Well, I guess middle school really changes people. 
even the ones you thought were your best friends. If you all think I'm so embarrassing, then maybe I should just go. Hi, everyone. We uh, had a dance routine prepared, but we're actually not going to perform it. Because of us, our friend didn't get to perform his magic act. That magic show was really important to the feller. So, Lincoln, if you're here, we're really sorry. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he's coming back. Okay, sorry. I guess that's the end of the talent show. No, it's not! Now, who's ready for some magic? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lincoln the Magnificent. And these guys in the shiny pants are my volunteers. Their methods may be questionable, but they're always looking out for me. Chef Pat, kick it. is down there, and so is my music box. Let's do this. Honestly, corn chips are ruined for me after this. Guys, I just remembered I have a, uh, piano lesson. No, you don't. Those are on Thursdays. Maybe it moved. You don't know. What? <gasps> the creature! Let's get him! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Norm? Gracious me! What are you kids doing down here? We're looking for the rat beast. The what? Big mutant rat, vicious fangs. Terrorizes the school? Smells like corn chips? It's got my music box. We followed the sound of it down here. A mutant rat? In my school? Not on Norm's watch. You kids go back upstairs where it's safe and leave the beast to me. Well, that's a very kind offer. We'll take you up on that. Sorry, Norm, but I can't leave without my music box. All right. Let's split up then. You take the east wing, I'll take the west. Should one of us go with Norm? What if the rat beast corners him? Norm knows this basement better than anyone. There's no way that monster will get the jump on him. Ah! Back, you beast! Ah! We're coming! Uh, I'm going to well, somebody has to be a hero. This is a job for Rusty Spokes! No, 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 no. Oh. I got the beast. You don't want to go in there. It's pretty gruesome. Wow, uh, thank you, Norm. Did it have Stella's music box? Mm, no, I'm sorry. But don't worry. If it's down here, I'll find it. In the meantime, let's get you kids back upstairs. <gasps> what was that? The rat beast! I thought Norm already got him! Give me back my music box, you monster! Go! 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 Wait! Huh? I can explain. This little fella is your rat beast. Then who were you fighting in the closet? No one. I was just play acting so you kids would go away. I didn't want you to find out about Cinnamon here. He and I go way back. He used to live in the school science lab. Oh, he was great company on the late shift. <laughs> but one fateful night, we were having such a ball, I forgot to lock the supply closet. And the next day... I don't know what he got into in there, but he came back out like this. A freak of nature. Not to me, of course. But I was afraid that scientists would want to take him away to be studied. So I hid him down here in the basement with a steady supply of his favorite snack. Corn chips. I've been able to keep him a secret for ten whole years. Well, not exactly. He's been stealing kids' stuff all over school. He took my music box from my backpack. Cinnamon Bartholomew, is this true? 
My music box! Oh, I can't believe you, buddy! You are going to have to return everything you've taken and write apology notes. <sighs> I'm sorry about all the trouble. I, I just wanted to look out for my friend. I get that. Same way these guys looked out for me. So, you think you could maybe keep this a secret? Wow! I never thought I'd see these again. Did you have to fight the rat bees for them? <laughs> <laughs> no, we searched the whole school, and I'm pretty sure it was all a hoax. We did find tons of missing stuff, though. If you see Molly, tell her we've got her lucky Canadian penny. Ooh, so exotic. I'll let her know. Thanks again. Bye! Bye. Bye. <gasps> Shall we commence the daily lunch swap? Ooh, corn chips. Trade you my mustard sandwich. Sorry, Rusty. These are spoken for. Hmm. Here you go, bud. <laughs> that one looks delicious. I also bake pan au chocolat, pan suisse, and croissant. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the occasion, Clyde? Yeah. Are you buttering us up for something? Oh. Okay, here goes. The reason I created this celebration de friendship brunch is because I've got some big news. It all started last night. Clyde, can you get that? And please, be careful. That phone is older than our 1930s Dust Bowl glasses. Hello? Clyde, it's Nana Gale. Oh, I got big news. My best friend, Flora DuPont, just came to town for a surprise visit. She happens to be the dean of one of the finest cooking academies in the world. I know that academy. It's nearly impossible to get in. They wouldn't even let the Queen of England in. Granted, I've heard her sponge cake is dry. Clyde, get your buns over here and bring your baked goods. Too. If Flora tries them, oh, she should have let you in. So, what happened? She loved everything I made. In fact, Dean DuPont said I just have to pass one last exam tonight. I have to cook her an entire dinner. If I nail it, I'll be into the academy. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Clyde, what's wrong? There's only one drawback. The school's in Paris. No! Oh, it's happening again. Clyde's leaving us, just like when Lincoln Dunn went to Canada. Let's not lose our heads here. I'm not a thousand percent sure I'm going yet. They might not even pick me. Your food is divine. <sighs> of course you'll get in. I'll miss you guys like crazy, but this is an incredible opportunity. Where else could I learn to cook so many? Concombre a la main. Escoco. Wait, Clyde. What if you could learn to cook all those things here in Royal Woods? I know someone who could teach you. Then we wouldn't lose you. Oh, give it a try, Clyde. Um, please? Yeah, we're your crew. Table 10 at lunch, the action news team. We have to stick together. But who are you thinking could teach me? I know just the guy. Bonjour, Clyde. Ready to cook fresh food? Oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Wow, thanks, Mr. Loud. I had no idea you study French cuisine. Well, I follow a French cooking vlog, which is basically the same thing. Every time my boy Charcuterie Sheldon goes live, I feel alive. We're going to make escargot, just like you were going to learn in Paris. Charcuterie Sheldon said the key to snailing it is the sauce. <laughs> Get it? Because because we're cooking snails. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Loud. Let's start by mixing some butter. Look alive. The lunch rush is starting. Uh, should I come back later? No, no, you'll learn on the fly. Next step, add some garlic to that. <laughs> Hold on! Don't forget the nacho cheese! Mmm. Oh, oh, way too hot. No worries, just add ice cubes. Okay, you're the teacher. Gotta pour on that pesto. Need to use that milk before it goes bad. Ah, I gotta throw those fish heads someplace. It's time to dump all the chunky chili. Stir till frothy. Finished! Order in the window! Ah, sorry I got busy, Clyde. So, did you add the garlic? Oh, I added everything you said. The crew is enjoying it right now. <laughs> well, what other chefs in Royal Woods do we know? Chef Pat, do you know anything about French cooking? I know everything. I used to be the head chef on a 60-foot yacht off the French Riviera. Here, ah, try a nutty buckwheat galette. <sighs> 
Nutty, smooth. So why do you cook sloppy joes all the time? Cause that's what you kids like. Chef Pat, you have to teach Clyde all about French cooking, or else he's moving to Paris. Please. Hmm, that's a lot to ask, but I'll do it on one condition. While I'm with Clyde, you guys gotta take care of my niece Waffles. <laughs> if she tries to bite you, give her Waffles. They calm her down. <laughs> I was thinking we could try this quiche Lorraine recipe. Okay, but I got a whole school to feed, so we're gonna need to multiply this by like, uh, nah, 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 500, I think. Math wasn't my best subject. I'm more of a fine arts gal. <laughs> I'm starving and waffles won't share. Hey, got any snacks in there? Oh no, we used too many eggs. Rusty, this was an awesome idea to hang out while you're working. Yeah, this rocks. Hey, Rusty, don't take this the wrong way, but don't you have to work? Stella, Stella, I am working and vibing. I can do both at the same time. Besides, if the customer needs me, they'll give me a shout for help. Hello, I'm shouting for help. I'm stuck in my leather pants. Whoa, pump up the volume. <gasps> Great moons of Jupiter, so shiny, must try on. And now, feast your eyes on my new move, the sweater fold. I found them. The perfect pants. They were on that rack in the back of the store. Uh-huh, a little busy, bro. Just ring us up before we change our minds. Have a delightful day. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Thanks, bro. Uh, I better take this in my office. Important store business. Go for the rest, man. Son, it's me, your father. I forgot to mention that a big customer is coming by around closing time to pick up his pants. They're the tight white pair from the tailoring rack. They were on that rack in the back of the store. You're in trouble, sales boy. And no pressure, but this client has the power to make or break duds for dudes with just one social media post. Keep it on the DL, but it's Mick Swagger. <laughs> No, no, no. Hey, Rusty, what's going on? I just sold Mick Swagger's pants. This could ruin duds for dudes forever. I have to get those pants back. Will you guys help me? Of course. Where are your dog squad? He's having a bad day. Just roll with it. Okay, here it is. Tyler's DJ service. Yo, 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 it's your boy Tyler. Leave your message after the air horn. I got his voicemail. Sorry, that air horn was loud. Maybe Tyler is with Scoots. To Sunset Canyon. We only have an hour until Mick arrives. Help! I got one leg out of the pants, but I can't feel the other one. Scoots, we tried calling you. What's so important that you can't answer a phone? It's Zen Hour, a time for residents to relax and unplug from our devices. Where's Tyler? I desperately need his pants. Chillax, sales boy. He's DJing his gig. Did he say where? How should I know? Just because we're dating doesn't mean I hang on every word he says. Now scram! I got a restorative Tai Chi class to catch. It keeps me calm! We'll just have to check every DJ venue in town. Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. Sorry, pack of kids, I already spun the limbo song. No, I need those pants back. Tough, these pants are a part of me now. I'll never give them up. <gasps> How about an exchange? Your pants for Zach's much cooler ones. Hmm. Deal. I improved them. I didn't take four years of DJ fashion styling to show up looking basic. Oh. Oh, I can't believe you traded my pants, Rusty. You can be mad at me later. We have 15 minutes before Mick arrives. We'll head to the tailoring section, patch these up, and my dad will never know. I 
those me trousers? What did you do? I... Uh, sorry. Uh. This customer is not satisfied. For satisfaction guaranteed, learn what a dude wants and what a dude needs. Nick, my man, let me hit you with some knowledge. You want the world to know you're the king of edgy rocker fashion, right? I should know that already, but go on. A one-of-a-kind dude like you needs one-of-a-kind pants. Before we redesigned them, your pants were so last album. So do you want to be yesterday's Mick Swagger or today's Mick Swagger? I just don't know how I ever lived without these pants. <gasps> You're absolutely right, mate. I want these pants. I need these pants. I love these pants. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. First place. Congrats, Stella. Yeah, dog, you crushed it. Your sandwich is bomb. State science fair, here you come. Thanks, but I'm going to drop out. <gasps> Why would you do that? <sighs> because, well, I'm terrified of public speaking. Something happened at my last school. It was Teacher Appreciation Week, and I was speaking in front of the whole school. Everything was great until I said the M word. I'd like to present this next award to Mrs. Limskin. She's more than a great teacher to me. She's my mommy. <laughs> Stella called the teacher mommy. <laughs> I'm a mentor, and Miss Limskin is my mentor, not my mommy. My mommy is my mommy. I mean, my mother. <laughs> That's why I have a huge fear of speaking in front of crowds. I can't get back up there. I don't have the confidence. Well, you're in luck, because the Rust Man is the king of con uh, confidence. We get it, Rusty, but I'm not sure your help is what Stella- Count me in. What? Rusty's delusional confidence might be just what I need to do this. No offense. None taken. This ought to be good. Silence! <laughs> Okay, Stella, welcome to the Spoke School of Swagger. I have a three-step plan to build your inner confidence. Now take out your mirror. Step one, positive affirmations. I give myself 50 a day. Rusty, your freckles are a work of art. You are the most beautiful man alive. Your hair is a luscious ginger mane of fire. Maybe Stella should try now. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stella, your turn. Stella, you brushed your teeth today. Stella, you have hair? Step two, confidence involves all of the senses, including smell. If you smell good, you'll feel good. Got this cologne from my dad. It's called Spicy Confidence. No. Oh, go easy on that, it's phone stuff. <laughs> I'm getting the spicy, but not the confidence. The final step is the swagger strut. Check it. Ah. Ah. Confidence comes from the hips and the lips. <laughs> mm. Duck face, chin up, elbows out, pop your hips, but maintain eye contact. Ah. <laughs> Gonna start real simple. Just read these here jokes. They're always a big hit with this crowd. Why did the hen cross the barnyard? <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Oh, wait, that's the wrong punchline. I'm butchering this joke. <laughs> you gone done it now. Never say butchering with this crowd. This has been fun. But if you guys really want to help Stella, how about trying something that has proven results? My hypnosis. <laughs> this ought to be good. I can make you a sleep tape to listen to. Your fear of public speaking will be gone by morning. Stella, focus on my voice. <laughs> oh, sorry, throat tickle. Okay, imagine you're on stage. So, did it work? Are you cured? I bet all my hash browns it didn't. I don't know. I listened to the tape, but I feel the same. There's only one way to find out. Listen up, everyone! Stella has something to say! <sighs> <sighs> Hello, Royal Woods Middle. I'm 
Stella Zhao, and here I am, standing on a table. And there you are, looking at me with your eyes. And I actually don't mind it. The hypnotism worked. I feel great. Everyone, I'm representing our school at the State Science Fair tomorrow. Come check me out. Yeah! Go, Stella! Go, Stella! Go, Stella! <sighs> Guess those hash browns are all mine, Rust Man. And now, here's reporter Stella Zhao with a new segment called What's in Your Locker? Hey, Amelia. Our action news viewers want to know what's in your locker? I've got a basketball hoop, a disco ball, <gasps> and a snow cone machine. <laughs> Man, my locker feels so basic. I didn't think anything could top what's in Bohoffner's briefcase. Hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> Chandler, we're trying to watch the Action News Team. The Action News Team. I'm Lincoln Lane. Everyone pay attention to me while I read the dumb news. <laughs> Shh. And I saved the best for last. You guys are live. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. It looks like we lost Stella. Well, kangaroos, this is Clink in the Cloud signing off. Have a happy day. Uh, my neck. Huh, those cameras are a real problem. I don't know how much more of this my neck can take. Hey, guys, it's your lucky day. I'm joining your news team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Sorry, but the team's full. Plus, homeroom is more than enough time with you in a day. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do about that equipment. Hmm. <laughs> hey, guys. Even though you snubbed me before, I got a little something-something for your show. What can I say? The Chan Man is a giver. Uh, uh, yep, all clear. Ain't full of poop this time. <gasps> Wow! These cameras are high-tech! Our show would look so good if we used these! Yeah, and so would I! This mug was made for HD. How did you afford these? Don't worry about it. Anyway, they're all yours. If you let me join your news team. Uh, Chandler, can you excuse us? Guys, what are we gonna do? Those video cameras are neater than a self-driving tractor during a corn harvest. But is letting Chandler join us worth some new equipment? <laughs> ah! Welcome to the news team, Chandler. Whoa, yes! You guys made a smart choice. Check you later. The Whoa, oh, wow, so nice. Cute. Now to get rid of you once and for all. Riddance. Thanks for never making me look good. This is your Action News Team with today's school news. Good morning, kangaroos. This is Lincoln Loud reporting for Action News. Don't adjust your screens. We're coming to you in glorious high definition, thanks to our new cameras. Up uh, first, we have a new reporter, Chandler McCann. What's on the menu, Chandler? Today's lunch is my personal favorite, chicken in your face. Ooh, sounds fancy. Uh, what's chicken in your face? It's chicken in your face. <laughs> he was bad. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, what'd that chicken ever do to him? Guys? We have to fire him. Hey there, Action News team. Now that was some solid reporting, am I right? Hey, Chandler, we were all just talking and we don't think this is... Whatever you gotta say, say it into these new microphones. Whoa! <gasps> and not so fast. I want a bigger role on the show. Something with more airtime. <gasps> How about I do the weather? Uh, can you give us a minute? Sure. Guys, look, we all know that Chandler's the worst, but those mics will make us sound great. Yeah, no more sound glitches during our snappy banter. Besides, there's no way he can mess up the weather. Okay, Chandler, you got it. <laughs> yes. And now, Chandler with the weather. Yo, chumps, Chan Man here. Get your galoshes ready, because there's a huge storm coming, and you're going to get drenched. <sighs> Laters. <laughs> Yeah, I was wrong. He messed up the weather. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What? 
This is a Catherine Mulligan News exclusive. I'm unmasking the serial pet pooper. The owner is Beck, and the pet pooper is Dilly. <laughs> Jumping jackalopes. How in the world did she steal our story? The Action News team has received a tip that somebody famous is hiding out here disguised as an old lady. Prepare to have your minds blown. <gasps> I'm Catherine Mulligan exposing this little old lady as <gasps> Mick Swagger in disguise. He's holed up here as he writes songs for his new album, Mick or Treat. <gasps> Hey, that was our scoop. <laughs> Nobody punks us, Brit boy. Pudding him. This is the story of the century. It's cool of Gus to tip us off he's discontinuing spaghetti pizza. <laughs> it's a dark day for the culinary world. <gasps> oh, no. This is the last bite of the last slice of the last spaghetti pizza Gus will ever serve. <gasps> I'm Catherine Mulligan reporting that you'll never know just how delicious that was. I don't get it! How does Catherine Mulligan keep scooping us? Someone has to be leaking to her. My cousin Derek's studying to be a plumber. He says you have to find a leak and plug it, or it gets worse. Rusty's right. If we don't do something, this could be the end of the Action News team. Wait, can we have a moment of silence for spaghetti pizza? And then he totally made my science project. Can you believe it? The leak has to be somebody here at school. Someone who's eavesdropping on us. Oh, do you think it's Meryl? Oh, bitch it is. Why, she's probably sneaking out our stories in that beehive. What do you think, Rusty? Rusty! Huh? Sorry, my dad's texts are blowing up my phone. He's going on a date tonight with his new mystery boo, and he wants to know what he should wear. This? Or this. Uh, I'd go for the turtleneck. With that jawline, I reckon he's better off with the tux. Guys! Focus! Oh no. Liam's right. The tux for sure. <gasps> <Psst>. <gasps> Chef Pat seems to be always wiping that table when we're eating lunch. So that means Chef Pat is probably the leak. But we need to find out for sure. Follow my lead. <laughs> You guys, I just got a hot tip. There's a meatloaf shortage in Royal Woods. Oh, wait. That sounds like a mighty exclusive story! <gasps> <gasps> yeah, that's it. Okay. <gasps> so, Patricia, who you calling? Could it be, oh, uh, I don't know, someone with the initials KM? <gasps> Actually, yeah, Kielbasa Mark, my meat guy. If there's a meatloaf shortage, he can hook me up. <laughs> then I'm sure you won't mind if I talk to him. Tell me, Mr. Kielbasa, what's the going rate for meat? Mm-hmm. And that's wholesale? Wow. Boneless chuck roast is three eighty-seven a pound. Mark says that's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show ourselves out. So if it's not Chef Pat, who could be tipping off Catherine? <gasps> Mr. Mew, the art teacher. He was on Clyde's Culture Corner last week demonstrating paper mache. That's right. And I saw him scoping out our studio while he was raiding the complimentary snacks table. Hmm. Drink it in. Rome and Rusty in the his house. Hmm. An interesting interpretation of Rusty, Ms. Zhao. Gosh, sorry, Mr. Mew. I can't get this exclusive story out of my head. The food and feels closing. Me Same. too. The story is huge. <gasps> sorry, I got swept up in artistic passion. Rusty's such a great muse. Uh, keep creating, maybe Tito Ortiz. I need to make a call. I've discovered something you'll be very interested in, I promise you. Is there any room left in your art exhibit? One of my students just painted a masterpiece. Did you guys hear that? It worked. Come to Papa. Zach, that's not the snowman. It's an avalanche! <laughs> that one's close. 
Wait, where's Liam? Liam, are you okay? I'm okay, y'all. Just go on without me. I'll have me, Ma, thaw me out. This is B. We've got no proof of the snowman. It's cold, and my legs are tired from all this walking. Ugh. Guys, we're never gonna find this thing. <laughs> that was our chance! We blew it! Maybe not! Check this out! You got it, so big, dude! Whoa! We gotta get this story uploaded to the school website! ASAP! Hey, everyone, look! It's the Action News team! Great job, guys! <laughs> Fellers and stellars! We got ourselves a big old problemo! And that photo y'all took wasn't of an abominable snowman at all! It was my long-lost sheep, Roxanne! <laughs> no way! Sheep aren't that big, and they don't walk on two legs! Look, y'all, she ain't been shorn in a year, and I taught her to walk on two legs so we could skateboard together. You see? I'd recognize those baby blues anywhere. Oh, no! He's right! It is Roxanne! <gasps> we have to retract our story. Let's just say we goofed. We mistook our friend's long-lost, unshorn sheep for a mythical snow beast. Easy! Do you hear yourself, bro? You'd be a laughing stock, and not just in school, but everywhere. Rusty's got a point. This is a national news story. Uh, no one would ever believe our reporting again. Unless we catch Liam's sheep and bring it back to the farm for a shear. Then everyone will just think the abominable snowman left Royal Woods. What do you say? I say, let's get my sheep back. Come in, Snow Squirrel. This is Winter Possum. We have a visual of the target. I repeat, we have a visual. Great, we'll shake Bull Hoffner and come meet you. I knew it! You've been trying to sabotage me! Where's the beast? Sorry, we actually have no idea. BT Dubs, we're at that pond where we used to ice skate. I have no idea what pond he's talking about. Exact coordinates are 55 west by 22 north. <laughs> 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 You've got company. Get away from that thing! And we're live. Mr. B, you can't do this. We messed up. That's no abominable snowman. It's my sheep, Roxanne. <laughs> my frostbitten four-toed right foot, that's a sheep. We can prove it. Well, this is Catherine Mulligan saying our whole town has been duped, and Mr. Bullhoffner only has nine toes. Eight! Lost one on my left foot, too. <sighs> Listen, everyone. We didn't mean for this to happen. We really did think there was an abominable snowman in Royal Woods. But when we found out we were wrong, we covered it up so people wouldn't think we were bad reporters. Well, we sure are sorry for scaring y'all. Hang on! This is Catherine Mulligan saying... Apology accepted. We all make mistakes. I once reported that radioactive mutants had taken over City Hall. <laughs> okay, but that was true. Thanks, Catherine. We appreciate it. From now on, we promise we'll report only the truth. And that's an Action News Team guarantee. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, Mulligan, I got a real story for you. Ever see a guy with eight toes? No! Stop the camera! Go! 